food they say is a way to a man's heart. Well, what happens when one man has three wives cooking for him in the same kitchen? In this video, we learn how a famous food called Yoro Yoro is made locally. Just a quick one before we get started. <laughs> This week's episode of the Rooted Experience takes us to the home of three wives and one kitchen. We'll learn how a highly nutritious and well sought after dish is made in the northern part of Ghana and it is called Yoro Yoro. I know, <laughs> it's a mouthful. And beyond the food, I got a glimpse into the beautiful life of this extended family that has three wives living in one compound with their children and they are married to one husband. I was deeply fascinated and in awe of the hard work that these women put up every single day. As you can see, they wake up very early in the morning and each wife goes about her duty or her routine. This is the second wife. The second wife is a cook, so she prepares food and sells right in front of their house. This is the first wife. She is up early with her young daughter and they are fetching water to fill the barrels in their home. The third wife who you see passing by is into selling of charcoal which the second wife buys from her and uses for her cooking and this is her first daughter she is barely 16 and per the culture and the tradition she is well overdue for marriage anyway let's head back over to the food so this euro euro food comprises of maize beans which is black eyed peas and millets And the first step is to boil the maize and the black eyed peas and proceed to washing of the millets. There's a lot of washing involved in this particular meal because I was told it is to ensure that there is no residue of stones or you know impurities found in the meal. Well, this is the second wife's son, one of two sons. She has four children and um, he just woke up and so he's now out. Right here, as you can see, she's adding a natural food coloring from a leaf and that would serve as the coloring for the food. And then we proceed to preparing the stew or tomato sauce as it is called here all the ingredients are cleaned and chopped ready to be sent to the grinding mill And now it is added into the mix and stirred properly. I must commend the women of the Dagbani culture because as an onlooker, it seems like they are the backbone that holds the family together. And whilst everyone in the village is very extremely hardworking, it seems almost as if the women are the main breadwinners and hustlers if i may 
in the village. But the men also have their roles that they play. I mean, look at these two strong women. One with a baby strapped at the back, carrying that hefty pot of food. All food is ready, guys. And they're set up in front of their house for sale. And in no time, this place will be packed full with customers ready to buy. is ready and it's time to try out the famous Yoro Yoro. This is what it looks like. So it's time to have the first bite. This contains boiled beans, corn, um, there's a green leaf here and it's called alefu. I don't know if I said that right. Um, we have fish, uh, fried fish. Wow. I don't know if it's green leaf, but it tastes like fried snail. That's what this tastes like, which is so strange because this is beans and corn and veggies. If you've never had fried snail, then, then you probably should visit Africa, West Africa and try it. Every item you see in here is homegrown. So from the beans down to the corn, down to the leaves, they are all grown and farmed right here in the northern part. It's called Yoro Yoro and hmm, this is great. I'm missing out, I'm sorry. And taste the sweetness of the palm oil and then the sweetness of the corn mixed and infused with the soft beans it's a mushy delight mm. so good mm. wow this is the rooted experience mm -mm. You're missing out. If you haven't tried your real before, I can tell you for free that you're missing out. Let's have a little bit of the fish. There's something very different about fresh food. This fish, hmm, so good, well spiced, not too dry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!